Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on how to implement different teams for different players and the player will be able to select only the characters that belongs to his team. So in our multiplayer game this is one player and this is another player. So here you can see this uh, characters with the red badge. So this character can select them and here this is actually the same map if you zoom out you can see because it's multiplayer so here these two characters are here let me just move them from here but in this game instance I can't select them see because uh, these characters uh, do not belong to this player but this character belongs to this player because you can see it has a blue badge so that's what we are going to work on today allowing players to select the units or characters that belongs to his team right let's see how to do that today right so currently let me change this back to two players and play so here as you can see without any restriction i can select any player so there are there is there's no any distinction of the units i can select any character so what i want to do is only certain characters so there should be like different teams oh, and one player uh, should only be able to select the characters that belongs to his team so here I have called this enemy instead of calling it enemy let's create a way to set the team so let's go here we have bp top down character let me open the character and add a variable called team this could be an integer by default it's zero so for this guy pp top down character i'll call it bp character t1 so here only we have some difference in the color i have made it red and I'll just make the team one right and then when I select characters let's go away let's go here how did I give one selection oh. selection is implemented in the player controller here click and select so in the character level top down character i have this uh on click oh this is not no longer working because i have disconnected this right so let's look into this select actors so here what happens is let's go inside so we identify the characters that are inside the box that we draw in the viewport and for each actor we just call toggle select now we need to have a team number for the player controller as well so let's go to 
is player phone and add uh, team. That's the one we added, right? Yeah, team. By default, it should be zero. That's also an integer. I'll make this public. So for this guy, I'll leave a play index. Oh, actually, we do have the player index thing. So we could use the same hmm, as the team. So, so yeah, player index is one we can consider as team one. Yeah, so therefore, I'll remove this. And do we have an interface here? Yeah, VPI player four. Here I'll add a function. Okay, player index. It should return an integer. Player index. Right? Now when the player pawn, it will simply return the player index. Now we are going to compare this with the with the team number. So in the characters, top down characters, we have VPI selectable, VPI character moment. Okay. Here I do function get T. So it should return an integer. right mm. now we need to implement this return the team okay now in the place where we select that means here top down controller we can get player for Oh, I mean, let's just get controlled for right. I think that's better. And then from that, we can get player index. Right. not clear what's going on here right and from this I'll get T so from the character we access the team and from the controller uh, from the player pawn we get the player index and we check if these two matches mm. right now if that is true we can select that character if we can select that character that means we can move that character also okay now let's see if this working so for the red character i set the t to one yeah yeah let me duplicate the red character okay time to test Right here, I can select these two characters. Here, I can select these two characters. 
now let's see this guy is also red oh no that guy is not red that guy is blue yeah look see i can't select oh still the click is working but track is not working okay so where did i implement click select see i can't select them but click works right now let's see where did i select implement click select I don't think it's on the character itself because that's what I checked here. An actor click this. This oh wait this one actually still here. All oh, right, we have this register actor. Register actor. Let's convert this to a function. Mm, no, no need. Here we can actually do the team check here itself. Get player index. and check if it is equal to the t if true we can select right let's see now Obviously, I wait. Why is it not working here now? This is working. Click or click is working, but not here. Ah, sorry. We should get the team not from the player index, we should get it from get. select here also I can select but this guy should not be able to select these red characters see can't therefore can't control them also because they can't select them okay so that's all I wanted to do for today so thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the Patreon club see you in another episode goodbye